Now we've got a, a, a jaw here for our next bit. We're talking about Tony Underwood's jaw. I thought it was Shakespeare. Ah. Alas, poor Tony. I knew him well. Yes. But uh, yeah, Tony Underwood. Helen, we've got a funny physio. Hey! Hey! Uh, and the star of the show is. No, um, yeah, Tony Underwood. Hang on. This, this, this will make everyone laugh. What do you think of it so far? Rubbish! Uh, yeah. Love no. Channel 5. No? No? Okay. no. okay, Helen, you're great. Yeah. So Tony Underwood, the old okay. uh, Underwood brother, and yeah. uh, he was playing in the game and someone playing broke his jaw. Broken jaw. Fortunately, it was an undisplaced fracture of his jaw. He, um, so that means that the bones are in line. This is the mandible here. Yeah. The, the fracture is generally around here. Now, generally it's direct trauma, so we didn't actually see the tackle very well um, no, on he, TV. No, it wasn't very well So I don't know whether it was uh, an actual punch yeah. or uh, a high tackle. And uh, you get a few other problems there. It compresses the temporomandibular joint up here, mm. which is a little hinge joint. So yeah, what are the chances? He's got, he's got a month to get himself ready, I think, for the Lions. What do you think? He's got a month. I think he should be able to do it. It'll take three to four weeks for that fracture to heal. Yeah. Um, the only real treatment is rest, and there's no surgery required for his. Right. And so basically we'll be on soft fluids. Yeah. I, I, I understood that they were going to try and knit his jaw. Now, my nan's very good at knitting, but a jaw, I think, would be a bit of a struggle. What, no, what was that all a about? Yeah. Basically, they're talking about uh, bony union and, yeah. Uh, yeah, the callus formation. That's what they're talking about. Right. Um, I heard he was going to buy a blender. Yeah? Yeah, he had to puree his pizzas. Oh, OK. Yeah. So, picked up a, well, injury to his testicles in the uh, latest match. Uh, he, he plays for the Seattle Mariners and he was playing the Cleveland Indians and apparently somebody hit the, uh, the ball straight into his... Um, oh, oh, nasal nut. Oh! So, can you just tell us? Yeah, well... How can you overcome this? How can you overcome? I wondered what they were for. Well, he did a very good remix of the Nutcracker Suite, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. With that one. Yeah. So this seriously is a horrific injury, isn't it? It is a very bad injury. Can you, can you overcome it? It can be overcome. Because apparently he's having surgery to repair tears in both of his nuts. Yes, I'll explain that. It's actually it's a little bit disrespectful doing it with a pair of kiwi fruit, don't Well, if I had an ex-boyfriend like that, don't worry. It's the same sort of shape, but we're not going into it. To be more realistic, okay. this is a dangerous part of the show. <laughs> I thought you were going <laughs> Okay, this, oh, is, this oh. is more like the actual oh. event. Oh, that is terrible. Now, this poor chap, he's, he's had the tears re-stitched. Oh, the big danger for him is the blood supply. Mm. Okay. And his friends know, of course. Exactly. The mm. blood supply, if blood supply is poor, mm. that's when you lose a testicle. That's terrible. And they actually atrophy, which means, of course, they get smaller. <gasps> and they could become... Oh, you're, well, yes, well, yes, but it does remind which me of would old be terrible. Dominic there. That's great. Well, that's awful. No, but seriously, it can be... It can, it can be, be very bad. Uh, the problems that he's going to experience possibly are changes in hormonal levels. Mm. And also... Will he talk in a high voice, or will he...? He won't. No. Um, I hope not. No, he shouldn't do, actually. <laughs> oh, OK. But um, the biggest concern is, will these actually function and uh, produce spermatogenesis oh, uh, well, reactions? Well, absolutely. Thank you. And will the family... Um, Name continue. Well, this is it. This is this it. This is a big stress. Good luck, Josiah. That's all I like. I'm Mel C, and my show is live and dangerous. Oh! Chris Cutaway. All right, the physio. sorry. All right, there's the physio. Who's going to talk? And our extreme sports coverage continues when we clock off for the night. Monster, 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 monster. Have I got a deal for you, monster? Have I? I can't. And she continues playing with great hematomas in the back of the car. She'll be playing with that all I've night. I've got a hematoma. She's got a hematoma. Oh yeah? yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Do you want me to show you my hematoma? Well, yeah. Go on then. I've got shorts this. on. All right, you're right. You carry on. No, no. no hematoma, right? Ravenelli. Um, what, what was it he did in? No, yes, we talked about this two weeks ago, and we said, yeah. no, it would be six weeks, but he, he came back too early once yeah. again. Once again, it was his hamstring, recurrent injury. Um, Sorry, I'm being distracted. She's, she's got a shawl. It's certainly off. quite a distraction, actually. Can we get a shawl back? Get a shawl back! It's worth a look at. She's got her trousers off in here. I'm not finished yet. I'm going to show Where you. Where is she? Carry on about Ravenelli. Okay. Sorry, yeah, Ravenelli. Ravenelli. Okay. Good Lord. He went back too early, basically. You keep talking, mate. I will keep talking, <laughs> if you don't mind. Oh, I see. It is a distraction. Stop it. Oh, I see. It's <laughs> just in. Yeah, right, yeah. So, yeah, he came back too early. Didn't came back around. too early. Yep. Recurrent injury. So, we've, we've got the, uh, the question once again. Does, does the player decide whether he comes back? <laughs> does the manager decide whether he comes back? Yeah. Does the coach decide? Who decides? I don't care. You don't care? <laughs> but anyway... Oh, uh, stop yeah. The rumour is that Ravenelli decided himself that he was going to come back right. and play. So who, the physio at the club would have strongly advised him not to, would he? 
or should have, should have done. Should, should have done, yeah. but um, does he have any power? That's the question. Well, no, because old Rav went off to some Italian place, didn't he, to get it sorted? Well, I, did he actually go, though? I think what he said was that if, if mm. he was in Italy, he would have been better within oh, two okay. days. Yeah. And uh, the question was raised that is treatment better on the continent compared mm. to here? And uh, it's a fair comment. I think a lot of the clubs mm. invest heavily in players, okay. millions of pounds, but um, not a lot in the medical backup, and yeah. they're not so looking after their investments, basically. They don't do enough stretching here. Explain that. Okay. We're looking at uh, performance and arousal, and get you to be an easel. Oh, lovely. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Performance arousal curve is something like this. So explain it through me. If I'm, like, getting ready for a competition, I'm really geared up, I'm physically, you know, okay. psychologically aroused. How is that yep. going to affect my physical performance? Okay, there's an optimal level of arousal. Right. Okay, if you're too aroused, you can see that the performance is going to be quite poor. If you're not aroused enough, it's going to be poor also. So the key thing is to get in this optimal zone. Okay, right. and a little crude way of remembering this, a lot of people think the more aroused you are, the greater the performance. Yeah. But it's not true, it's not a linear curve. It's actually like this. A nice way, a crude way of doing it, and I didn't think of this, is um, oh. well, Harris inspired. I think Dominic will like that one. Oh. I wonder what that and, looks uh, like. Keeps you uh, no, aroused, I basically. Do you want to come, come into shot? Here we are. Hematoma. <laughs> Ellen without trousers right. on. Because what it was is yesterday. Um, it, this didn't happen in the match. It was after I scored. There was a pile on. About 15 people helped me celebrate my goal. Um, <laughs> And I just said, this really, really hurts. And I just said, what is that then? Because it hasn't bruised very much, but it really hurts. And explain, yeah. what did you say? Okay, what we've got here is a classic hematoma. I must say, it's a, it's, it's a very mild one. What you can feel... What do you mean mild? Fairly mild. She, she did very, very well. She could have said it was a really nasty one. It made me look really hard, couldn't okay. you? Okay, this is one of the most serious hematomas I've ever Thank seen. Thank you, that's better. Yeah. And uh, if we palpate the skin here, we can feel... A little bit of hardness just under the surface. Go on, so you pull yeah, that it's screen. Great, we can't it? quite this pick that up. What we'll nice. just do, actually, it's just, it's just here. That's where it is. It's there. For those that can't pick it up at home, it's round about there is the problem. Okay, yeah. and what, what we've got here... Yeah, that's good. ...is um, that's a little bit of bleeding in the muscle. Up there it is. So that's why it's a little bit hard under the surface. Some people would call it a simple little bruise. Yeah. Which, um, basically, that's what it is. Okay. But look, look at this. Look, yeah, we can't we've, John, got, we've got, we've got an abrasion here. John Barnes did that to me. I've, hey, look, I've been scarred by John Barnes. We've got a superficial Barnes. skin injury, mm. and uh, it won't require anything, actually. No skin grafting or anything. Okay, but, um, so I'm going to live then, am I? Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, but I thought so. I'd show you A bit you of that. ultrasound would be good on there, though. Break down that... Uh, hmm. that uh, I'll tell you what, though. When you... Do, I don't know if that... Does it? No! Okay. Listen, you've cut, you've cut into my physio time. Thank you very much. Do you want to go and put your trousers back on? Trousers back on, Actually, don't bother. <laughs> no, probably won't. So Robbie Musto, he had a bit of a problem in that game as well. What was the he matter did. with him? He, he, he twisted his knee, basically. Yeah. How and, long will that uh, keep him out then? Well, it depends what he's done. Basically what happens with these guys, they've got mm. their studs in the ground, the foot's fixed, and yeah. they rotate the tibia. So what he's got is a little rotation injury like that. Now, it can be severe in that uh, you can disrupt these crucial yeah. ligaments that we've talked about before on the show, and also the cartilage mm. and the medial and the lateral collaterals. Mm. Now, it can range between two weeks, six weeks, and uh, a year. Okay. He but hobbled off, so I think yeah. probably six weeks. All right, thank so, you uh, very much for explaining Robbie's injury and also for drawing on Helen's leg.